All right, let's go. I think it's, we're starting with stories, I'm assuming. Yeah. Oh, well, we don't know, actually. My prediction is that we're going to be getting Malfestio. <laughs> My top four monsters to return are uh, Malfestio. I actually forgot. Let me let me pull up the list. <laughs> I made a tweet. I made a tweet talking about my top four monsters to return. Hi everyone, I'm Ryozo Tsujimoto. Hello, Mr. Tsujimoto. Monster Hunter series. In today's digital event, we'll bring you the latest updates on Monster Hunter Stories 2: Wings of Ruin, releasing on July 9th. It releases in two and weeks, Monster right? Monster Hunter Rise, which is already available. In two weeks from today, actually. Dang. We're very excited to reveal the latest info on Monster Hunter The Monster Hunter Stories, Stories 2, Wings of Ruin. The Stories first, 2 music. So nice. The battle theme? Crazy. I'm not sure why, but the monsters near that pit have been acting up. The strange light from the pits is what's enraging monsters. At least, that's the guild's theory. Light that makes monsters mad. Seems to be happening all around. The guild's Mizu Astalos! Let's go! So we got all four of the Faded Four. They're in. <laughs> I was worried for Astalos for a minute there. But we got Astalos back. Are you out of your mind? You care more for one Rathalos than for the world it might destroy? Now, believe in Ratha, and he'll believe in you. The Wings of Ruin, bro. Sorry, I was quiet for the, for, for a couple of seconds there. Hey, yo. Sheesh, bro. They're bearing off his name in Frostbank. Hunting Horn. Let's go, Astalos. So is... So I haven't played Stories 1. So I don't know... I, I do know there was a limited selection of weapons. There's like, what, four weapons or something like that? They added Gunlands, I believe. But is Hunting Horn new? I'm not sure. Black Diablos. Nergigante. Jeez. I'm excited for that, actually. I, I really want to get it. I think it comes out... He said meow de doo So Nabiru is from the first game, right? I wonder if those Mebo do, actually. I'm kind of curious. So, yeah, I haven't played the first game. So I'm looking forward to playing this. Apparently, I think the battle system is, like, tweaked, kind of. I'm not for sure, though. I'm not, sure about, I'm, I'm not sure about all the differences. There are pits in the game that emit light, known as Rage Rays, that cause nearby monsters to become more violent. These Rage Raid monsters are appearing all So this is where the boss battles are, okay. <laughs> so far, we've seen the mass disappearance of Rathalos, monsters losing control because of light from pits, Lady and the birth of Raised Wing Ratha. Where will it all lead? Strange things are happening, and the strength of your bond with Ratha will be put to the test. We also saw a rider named Avinia make an appearance with Frostfang, her monsty. We saw them in the previous installment. So a funny thing about the word monsty. Before I knew that your buddies in stories were called monsties, I, I, last year when I was playing Monster Hunter, I, I would just jokingly say, oh, we're about to play monsty hunty with the boys, you know? <laughs> I didn't re I didn't realize they were actually called monsties in this game or in stories. 
So, uh, I find that really funny. Monsty Hunty. Let's go. The Rite of Channeling. Is, I'm guessing this is how you just get your buddies. Oh, the music! Can be found in the deepest part of monster Bum, nests that randomly appear in the field. There are even some rare dents that pop up infrequently Ooh. where you can get your hands on elusive monster eggs and ones that contain hard to find genes. Genes? Back to the stables and hatch it to get a new monster for your adventure. Zoom in. Ah, oh, Kezu. The rite of channeling is a ritual that allows you to transfer a gene from one monster to another. By doing this, you can awaken a new ability in the monster receiving Ooh. the gene. During uh, the ritual, you can choose which monster will channel the gene, which monster will inherit, are they? and which slot you will place the gene in. For, I'm looking at the icons for the monsters. By awakening new skills and abilities in interesting combinations. So, okay. It looked like they were going with just smoothed out. Each updated versions of old existing genes. monsters and making them look the nice compared to like the world monster element, sprites like icons I was, I was thinking that they might have like like kind of Align three genes of the same color or pattern in not row, downgraded but like demastered I guess is the right word the the world monsters icons to make them like pixelated or something to fit with the older monsters, but no, I guess they just took the old icons for the old monsters and just made them smoother and look nice. Because that's the old Tigrex icon before World. And that's obviously World Antoinette. So they just took the old old sprite icons and made them look better. You can give the Lagami the ability to manipulate fire that it would never have naturally. What? Or, if you transfer genes from a Glavinus, Gameth, Mizutsune, and Astalos to an Arzuros, the Arzuros will be able to use the skills of the Faded Four from Monster Hunter Generations. Avatar Arzuros? You can create a versatile monster. <laughs> That's Avatar Arzuros. What? And technical skills. Or you can upgrade your monster's fire element. Combat looks nice. Until it's a fire specialist. Transferring genes allows you to individualize your monsters, creating ones that nobody else has. I think this looks. Oh, Tetsu Cobra's back. Nice. I think this is just complex enough to where I'm not going to get super overwhelmed. But I'm gonna have a lot of fun just like mixing and matching. That looks nice. Two weeks. Pre-orders are available for both a physical and digital version. I have so many games to to get. You know, I might get this game when it comes out. Because I still have to. I still have to get Persona 5 Strikers. I need to get into the Trails series. Trails of Cold Steel. <sighs> Alright, here we go. Here we go. Uh, uh Malfestio. Ligaya Chris. Valstrax. Celtis. <gasps> the music! <gasps> oh no! Let's go! Let's go! Oh, I know. Crimson Glow Valstrax. I know Mike is rolling right now. Let's go! Oh my god! Oh. Eric has his chance of revenge. Valstrax! Crimson Glow Valstrax. What? Oh, we're getting our actual 
Story mission? Oh, shut up, Google. <laughs> Here we go, story stuff. Tomorrow. As you can see, the new free title update, Monster Hunter Rise version 3.0, will be releasing on May 27th. So, only Valstrax, Apex and Ogre, and the content of this new update. So we hope you enjoy the show. The now here's the director, the Elders. Ichinose, to do the honors. I just need my solo Ibushi fight, bro. Outside of the rampage. Hello, everyone. I'm Yasunori Ichinose, the director on Monster Hunter Rise. I'm very happy to see everyone all over the world is enjoying our game. Oh, yeah. Thank you. This game's amazing. To make sure you've got plenty more to do, I'll be showing off some of the new oh. monsters and features of version 3.0. Let's go, Valstrax. Oh, I'm about to DM Mike, bro. I know he's ecstatic. Crimson Glow Valstrax, bro. So it's just like Valstrax, regular Valstrax. It's a, variant of Valstrax. it's a variant. The flagship monster from Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. Yes, sir. He has a he has a laser. As Crimson Glow Valstrax. A mysterious elder dragon that can freely fly through the sky. Bro, he can just hover? He has hyper beam and he can just hover? Allowing it to survive at unusually high altitudes. He's in multiple He's in multiple locales too. Not just one. Foul tracks, man. I'm so excited. New attacks, so we hope you look forward to it. Why a variant though? Like, I'm curious as to why they chose to, to just do a variant rather than regular. Apex and Ogre. Yeah, we called it. That mural. That mural in the uh, training area. That was real. The theory was real. It's different from the regular variant. But this is the last one, so. Yeah, this is Gold Thunders and Ogre, baby. It'll appear during Rampage quests, but you can take it on with a standard quest as well. I really like that the apexes are themed after the the deviants. That's so that's so fire, bro. In this case, lightning. But yeah, after after Zenoka, we have no. Uh, if, if we are getting more apexes, we have no uh, reference. We'll be adding a new ending to the game's story. What danger awaits the hunter when Ibushi and Narwa come together? Divine beasts with grace replete. Finally, the twain shall meet. I won't spoil anything on this show, so you'll have to play the new quest in version 3.0 to So we're fighting them together. The update will also contain the following features. New monsters will create up for us, new monsters will rampage. Monsters? New monsters. I gotta know. I gotta know if there's more. I gotta know if there's more. DLC on the same day as the title update. All right, what DLC do we got? Yomogi, of course. Iori. Yeah. Buddies lend me strength. Cat ears? I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that Palamute mask. That's funny. Okay. The hairstyles, those was pretty nice. Hey yo? What was that? We've got lots of colorful new what was, what was that? To spice thing? Up your hunting life. So keep an eye out on the official website Wait. and our social media. Oh, Monster Hunter Series bases. Uh, there. Oh. Wait, that music. Little Wing Drake. Oh, was it a Wing Drake from 
That was, that that was a different wing Drake. Free title update version 3.0 for now. Then what I'm thinking about. Now let's have a look at the roadmap for upcoming updates. Alright, let's see it. Alright, let's see it. Roadmap. We plan to offer regular updates with new event quests and DLC after version 3.0 as well. June will also see part one in a series of Capcom collabs. Nice. Kicking off with layered armor to turn your Palico into Tsukino, the mysterious feline from Monster Hunter Stories 2. Anyone who completes the corresponding event quest available from mid-June will be able to get this armor. So nice. Don't miss out. There will be more collab layered armor of Capcom characters in the future. So keep your eyes peeled for more information. Yo, I gotta get my Amaterasu outfit for my Palamut. That's all I want. That's all I want. We will have more to share with They're you specifying Capcom collabs though, so. A later date, so stay tuned. But I want my Amaterasu we outfit for my Palamut. That's all I want. Coming to Monster Hunter Rise in the future. Okay, that's it. I'm assuming that's all the stuff, new stuff we're going to be getting if you have saved in this data event. Monster Hunter Rise, Holy crap, bro. You'll be able to unlock the Hunter's Kamara armor we knew, we knew about this. Rise in Monster Hunter Stories 2. Similarly, if you have saved data for Monster Hunter Stories 2, I'm so excited for this update, bro. You'll be able to unlock the Valstrax. I got, I got, I got, I got a message, Mike. <laughs> this is all he wanted, bro. Don't miss out on this crossover content between two different Monster Hunter worlds. It's time. To reiterate, Monster Hunter Stories 2: Wings of Ruin will release on July 9th. In two weeks. Two and weeks Monster from today. Rise, which is already available, will be getting the free update version oh, 3.0 tracks, on May 27th. I am ready, bro. Have I have my games. sets made. I have I have my weapons made. I am ready for Valstrax, bro. I'm I'm okay, that's over, okay. I'm glad I played Generations Ultimate. So I could fight Valstrax before before this. I I need to go back at some point in Generation Ultimate and and like play through like the rest of the hub quests because I have yet to fight like most of the Elder Dragons. I've only ever fought Nakarkis, and that's it. And Valstrax. I wanna fight Atalkal, I wanna fight Amatsu, I wanna fight all of them. I have a strong feeling Amatsu's gonna be returning. Amatsu Magatsushi. I want to fight him in Generations Ultimate before I fight him in Rise. So I gotta, I gotta get on that. But anyways, that's it for this digital event reaction. I am very excited. I think we'll be picking up Stories 2 in two weeks when it, when it drops. I, I think I will. But uh, before that, we're going to be getting this update from Monster Hunter Rise. I'll be playing the heck out of that. Maybe streaming with my boys. We'll see. I'll catch you guys next time. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. K-Dog out.